Good morning, everybody. Sarasota Tim coming to you from a freezing Toyota Tundra truck. 32 degrees outside, 726 a.m. And remember, tomorrow this will be 626 a.m. because we roll back our clocks tonight. It's absolutely colder than a Dell. Uh, I got two of them for you. It's colder than a well digger's butt. And I cleaned that up for you. And here's another one I've heard. It's colder than a witch's boob in a brass bra. And I cleaned that one up for you. Woo! My goodness. Get me back to Florida. Dang a cold weather. Man. Supposed to be 71 today, 73 tomorrow, 76 the next day. That's going to be great. Bring it. But it starts out. Oh, I thought it was supposed to be in the 40s this morning and we weren't going to have any freezing temperatures. It's 32, it says in the tundra. And that means that water line, that water hose, uh, Christina has got out there for me. Is going to get more ice in it and there won't be any uh, water to come into the uh, wolf pup until you, you know, run it a little bit. We got both those space heaters in there going. They work absolutely fine. I had no clue how cold it was outside until I came out of the camper. Where are you going, Baker? McDonald's? I'm so excited. I got up at 5 to 5, which will be 5 to 4 tomorrow, right? I'm an early riser. I had a cup of coffee, my Folgers, and my uh, uh, Cure Egg that my daughter gave me. Actually, Eddie gave it to me. He set it down in front of me, their old one. And I love it. But those little pods you put in with the amount of water, the, even the maximum amount of water, I got the first version that has a very low reservoir. So that amount of water to one of those pods is, uh, is strong. And the Folgers that I'm buying, it's regular Folgers, mild taste, whatever. It's packed with the caffeine. I'm so glad I love this truck. That battery spun that motor over this morning in this cold air. I got my heated seat on. And I've got the climate control on high. And she hasn't turned on yet because she's thinking about it. As soon as the block gets warmed up. I have electric start, auto start. I could have done that already from the camper. Stupid not to. Um, it has a feature as soon as you open the door, the engine shuts off so nobody can jump in and steal it. But that doesn't stop you from, you know, having it cooled down in the hot or warmed up in the cold. And then you just restart it. That's all. I wasn't thinking. So I got an email from the uh, uh, Camp Oaks and Aaron over there, Aaron and Kimberly, the owners. Nicest darn people in the absolute world. They fit right into my community. And uh, using the backup camera here, I guess I am. I got those LED light bulbs I put in my backup lights to give me a little more brightness. Where are you going, Baker? Yeah, back up the other way. Sun's coming up. Can't see out my tinted windows because it's dark outside and I got the dome lights on. Ooh, I'm feeling the seat. I'm feeling the seat. So, yeah, Aaron, Aaron emailed me and said, your vehicle has been, uh, you know, put in dispatch to be somebody to jump in a truck and hook it up and bring it. And then he alluded that it would be here as early as today and no later than Monday. So that means Monday. I mean, if it was just being put in dispatch and it's 650 miles away, I don't know how these guys do it to transport them if they, you know, you know, get on the stick and 
get behind the wheel and drive until they're there or or uh, they sleep overnight you just drive a little bit I don't know how it works I know they get paid and they want to probably get back and do another one they're not on vacation and then the email said I said okay good I was I was very curious as to what the status was I didn't want to bug you know but I was sitting there yesterday because it's been two days since I gave him a deposit and you know he talked about them basically bringing it you know right away and he already had a vehicle identification number for me yes I can't see I'm rounding the corner here all right we're good Woo, this seat is warming up so I got a VIN number and all but still I was curious you know how soon do these guys jump in there and bring it so he said and I, and I mean, I, go, let me back up. And I said, good, I appreciate you keeping me in the loop. And I just want to make sure, you know, all the things. And I said, it goes without saying, because I know he would, uh, that all the things work before I drive it to Florida. You know, I want to make sure that the stove works, the AC works, the heater works, the TVs work, the refrigerator is getting cold, the hot water heater all of those things and he emailed back right away you know saying oh yes when we get it we go through it and it takes several hours and then we go through it with you he said showing you everything and answering all of your questions and so I just couldn't be happier and let me tell you this. This is very important, folks. I have to share it with you. I'm the type of person that before buying anything, I've done my research. I know I know as much as I can know that it isn't junk or it's reliable or this is, you know, going to be adequate, like the towing of this Tundra and everything. What I discovered that I didn't know last night on YouTube, you guys ever watch that guy, Josh's RV, he does all these reviews. He's up in the cold country somewhere in Michigan or Wisconsin or somewhere. And he does these walkthroughs and does these video tutorials, uh, reviews on different RVs. He's married to the owner's daughter and he doesn't sell them. He's, he's rich. And he's done very well in this business over the years, but he's also a very thorough, enthusiastic, and seems to be an honest person in his reviews. And naturally he wants you to buy, everybody's in business, but, and he's reviewed all makes and models. He doesn't just sell, you know, Flagstaff or uh, Rockwood. Now see, this is what I wanted to tell you. That name Rockwood, a lot of you already know, and Flagstaff, the one I'm getting, are the same camper, the same building. They're on the same floor. They changed the name, the decal, and, you know, the coloring or something. Otherwise, they are literally the same. Kind of weird. So I watched this video that Josh made of a two or three part they were about 30, 40 minutes each of a manufacturer's walkthrough a tutorial a, uh, uh, of what goes involved in manufacturing this product. And not very many people want to show that kind of a video on the, the junks out there. And there's lots of junks. I mean, you've seen them. I've been in them. Maybe you haven't even been in an RV in your life, but... You can go in one and you can tell, is this it? No. <laughs> that they are absolutely press boards, staples and screws. Jump. And this, this Flagstaff, Force River Company, <clears throat> while it's not a custom built home, don't get me wrong, while it might not be uh, 
I don't know, some people call Lance, some people call Oliver, some people call Casitas, Airstreams, and those brands, really high quality. Airstream being a different material they use, um, Oliver and Lance are pretty good, I understand, and so is, you know, not really in that level, but the grand design, the reflection, uh, those are very popular, very handsome uh, fifth wheels. <clears throat> But let me tell you, even better than them is this Flagstaff slash Rockwood. What I gleaned last night, you can look it up yourself and look on the video if you got time. If you, especially if you want to co contemplate an RV. When Josh goes through that uh, manufacturer and they talk about all the things they do for quality control, did you know the warranty company, that when you call them, is right upstairs overlooking the floor? And if they get two or three things quickly that are in a row that the dealers are calling about, that's like, hey, hold it, alert, red flag, they go right down on the floor and go to the team leader of that part and go within those ID numbers and stop and change if there was ever an issue. I mean, that's the kind of hands-on, but just the regular build, the, the everyday quality that they put in, uh, all of this aluminum construction in anything that is uh, uh, weight-bearing, like the bed and the furniture and all these things, <clears throat> has aluminum framing and, and all six sides of the trailer or aluminum and they use that asdell inside and outside wall construction and it's a complete walk-on roof and it's not tucked in like a bed sheet on the on the edges of the uh whatever they call that it goes on the roof the not the liner but it's called the whatever it is and just on and on. I don't have all the uh, the cliff notes in my head, but I just saw it last night. And I was thanking God that the very first place, right near my daughter, even though they were closed that day, but I could tell from the outside that I needed to go back. And I even had an encouragement. I got to turn this heater off this seat. I'm burning up. I even had an encouragement from a, uh, a subscriber in the comments saying, please, go back to that place and show us the inside we were going to leave we were we were out of here you know uh i did want to go get a little bit of content at another place which i did but i couldn't get it out of my mind so we went there in the morning before we were to return i was still going to leave later after I, I went up there and just wanted to see the inside and then I was going to come back and hook up the wolf pup and head back to Florida. And here's what happened. I bought one, long story short, but it also created a whole new thing for me at my home base. And what that is, is I couldn't buy this because it won't fit where I'm parked because of that other RV. The other RV is a RV that's a little bit of an eyesore. It's kind of biodegrading. It's one of those junks. <laughs> Not to say bad about it, uh, but it's a Class C that's it's really been let go. And they kind of wanted it out of there. And so that one is being moved down the street to a, another place very close by, supposedly. And I'm going to have that whole area. So that was a godsend. Even if I had my wolf pup there, sharing that narrow little parking spot was becoming, you know, one of the reasons why I wanted to bail. So now I have that whole area and we're gonna have a beautiful camper in there. And the owners are delighted that there'll be something that's aesthetically pleasing to the eye and all that. So by going back up there and seeing the inside and meeting these wonderful people, Aaron and Kimberly, 
at Camp Oaks RV Center in Dahlonega, Georgia, and they immediately tell you, only tax, only tax. There are no other fees. Prices were in every single camper on a piece of paper with a description of, of what the camper had. You couldn't be more upfront. And then so far, uh, the service before the sale, and I'm getting ready to find out what the service is after the sale, like especially on the pickup of the, you know, doing delivery and all. I'm telling you, I couldn't be, it's 10 out of 10. I'd give them 11 if there was a higher rating so far. They're keeping me in the loop, the emails. But back to the videos I was watching. You, I'm not, I'm not being biased. This Flagstaff Rockwood Forest River Company is manufacturing one of the best built travel trailers for your money you can possibly find. I mean, you can't buy a car today for $40,000 that is, you know, what it, what it used to buy. That used to buy all the car in the world. That buys a Corolla now. That buys a Civic. All right. Maybe it'll buy the Camry. Maybe it'll buy the Accord. But between thirty-five dollars and $40,000, when you compare that to a home, a tiny home, buying property, yada, yada, yada. This has all the furniture in it. It's a home on wheels. Has everything. And a lot of people have been uh, asking me about the air conditioning. It's got one unit, but it's 15,000 BTUs and it's ducked. And he's told me that's plenty good. This is a 26 foot camper trailer from the outside, from the tip of the tongue to the back of the bumper. So I've only got a few more feet than the wolf pup actually. Boy, McDonald's is cranking on the inside, but I've got width and I do have more length and I have separate rooms. It looks like it's three times bigger. It's just funny how the numbers are magically you know, not that big of a difference and yet huge looking difference. So, parking here. Uh, the, the, the videos that I watched last night with the quality build and I watched the, uh, the number, the model number of what I'm getting in the rock Rockwood. That one's called a 2516S maybe. And you they've got a lot of videos on that one versus the Flagstaff. And it's the exact same one. And, and there's a lot of videos of the 2024, which is a, a lot of difference between even the 23 because the kitchen sink is now one big, beautiful stainless steel aluminum sink versus two, they uh, have a different color scheme and uh, a, f a few kind of important, I think they went to the, uh, they might've had a 15,000 BTU AC in 23 as well, but, oh, and those slides, they're rack and pinion, which is the most reliable. And they have this long thing you can stick in a hole and crank them open or close should you ever have to. They have super uh, build quality because a lot of weight on those. They, um, anyway, if you're interested in getting yourself something under 30 feet that's in the sweet spot, that's half ton towable, you know, 6,000 pounds dry, seven, 7,200 pounds loaded, and you've got a nine, 10,000 pound half ton truck. You don't have to buy a three quarter ton truck. You don't have to buy a hundred thousand dollar, you know, diesel truck. 
you don't need it. The micro light Flagstaff Rockwood build quality and it doesn't have leaf spring suspension. It has this something compared to basically independent suspension, a Drexel or something like that, where when you take turns off exits, rather than the camper wanting to pull you off the road, it actually leans into it. If you should come off the road onto a shoulder uh, for whatever emergency reason, one tire, one, there's dualies, du, dual axle, one will go down and the other one will stay up. You know, it's an amazing suspension. The underbelly is completely sealed and heated. You don't see anything. Uh, frameless windows. All right, I'm not going to go into all of this. I'm not going to keep talking about it because there are plenty of videos coming on my walk around. And as I become more knowledgeable about my product and as I find little golden nuggets to share to uh, review and the towability the, with the Tundra, all of that, all of those videos are coming. And we'll also be going to, if we get home in time, to an RV show in uh, West Palm Beach at the fairgrounds. Uh, so if you'd like to see me there and come by, I'll keep you up to date as to what time we get home. It begins on the 9th. It runs for three days. I don't know if I'll be able to make it on day one. There's a good possibility, but certainly day two and for sure day three, uh, I'm gonna be there and uh, walking around and I'll, I'll update more on that. Uh, if you're in the West Palm Beach area. Also, um, Tammy is uh, really coming on board uh, with the product since we watched those reviews last night of the build quality and all that. Yes, yes, she will never, you know, not like that big living room model we saw. She, she loves that. I mean, she likes what she likes. You like what you like. And she is going to definitely come my way of thinking on that closet and being able to be um, up there and back there in her bedroom, you know, when I'm up early making my coffee and not disturbing her. The other one had a separate bedroom too, up in the front uh, where the window is, but you really couldn't enjoy that window. You had the big windows in the back. I'm not gonna talk about that one much more, but she is gonna be happy, believe me. And I would, if there was any reason, a couple of good reasons, if there was a couple of good reasons that I should get that one or any other one, even a different product, believe me, I've given a small deposit. These people wouldn't give me any problem on getting my money back and I could do what I want to do. I could not be more, I did have a little bit because of some people saying things in a comment and with Tammy's, you know, disillusion about it a little bit about the one I chose and the one I say we should get and all that kind of stuff. It did cause me to, you know, and that's what happens folks. Just to let you know when you're a YouTuber and you read the comments and you keep hearing things from people that are in disagreement, I'm not talking about being ugly. I'm just talking about being in disagreement about like the social security or about the Medicare plan or about an RV that I've chosen or about, you know, the model or the brand or the vehicle I've got or anything. When you read comments or when you get people telling you, now, you probably don't get it as much if you're not a YouTuber, but when you get a lot of feedback somehow through like social media, it does, it will absolutely cause you to doubt yourself. You know, it really will. It will cause, uh, I know people that want to do certain things uh, like a home improvement. And, you know, they get some feedback about, well, you know, the cost of that or this or that, or you've already got something, you don't need that. And, and then they start thinking, what they wanted, am I doing the right thing? Should I, they start doubting their, their decision. 
and you can't let that happen. You gotta, you gotta take advice. You gotta, you gotta take constructive criticism. You gotta, you gotta weigh it. It's good to get information, but you gotta make your ultimate decision. You, or what's best for you. Nobody. Somebody once said something that I'll never forget. People in a relationship, they're having a hard time and they want to complain about it to someone they're close to. It could be a man telling his buddies. It could be a woman telling her girlfriends. It could be a woman telling her guy friend. It could be a man telling his girlfriends um, about his personal or her personal life. And they're always going to be a little bit biased because they're your friend and say, yeah, you don't need to put up with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Leave them. <laughs> but when someone told me this, I never forgot it. It doesn't matter what I think. You're the one that's got to get in bed with them every night. You're the one that's got to live with them. You're the one that sleeps with them. You're the one spending the rest of your life or the, the next tomorrow with. So it really is up to you. And so I have become very, very tough. I've learned my, my learning curve. I try to make my learning curves not go like this. I try to make my learning curves a little bump. I have to learn. And I made some comments and I made some videos about comments in my videos and what people say and, and just in life in general. But I have learned. And if you can learn anything from me, you're going to get it and you need to just do what you want to do that you know is wise always pray about it always pray about it that's the one you can take advice from that's the one that will nudge you i hope that ac isn't making too much noise that's that's the person god almighty that will give you direction don't people love misery you know they'll be um you know, they're not happy for you. A lot of people are, they get jealous. You know, they do. That's just the way it is. They envy, they covet. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's stuff. But nobody likes to see you doing any better than them. I don't say nobody meaning everybody. I say that as a, a term. I get, and I even told Tammy yesterday, all of these 99.9% .9 of these people on in the comments, you, my community, so happy for you. So happy for you. Love it, Tim. Love that trailer. And there's a few that say, well, I like the one Tammy chose, but you know, what's best for you guys? I, pr I pray for you. I wish you the best. Safe travels. You guys are great. You guys are cute. You guys are good. I mean, love, 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 love. You guys are the best. And there's a few, you know, and every YouTuber will get it that aren't out for your best interest. They're not happy for you. Or they're not happy with their own lives. I don't know. It's, it's hard to understand, but it is what it is. But I don't let that bother me. And it could be about my mirrors. It could be about my motorhome. It could be about my truck. It could be about the way I comb my hair. It could be about anything. And, you know, you just, you can say what you want. I don't care. I still love you. I still want to bring you content. I know you're still watching. <laughs> don't threaten me. I know you're still good. I know you'll be back. Come on, man. Let's just all get along. Can't we all get along? But anyway, I don't know where I'm going with this other than I'm sitting here at McDonald's. Miss Tammy's waiting on a, a biscuit and a Coke. And I get comments about that about her Cokes and her biscuits and us splitting food and <laughs> it doesn't matter. We love it. We love it. And there's plenty that we have adhered to that we've uh, gotten very good information from you. And I want to always receive that and I will read every comment and I will. Notice this morning, you'll see a lot more comment uh, replies from me. You know, I've been sitting here early in the morning. It's too cold to go outside. So I start looking at the phone in the morning hours. I get up at four or five, make some coffee. I don't want to disturb Miss Tammy with the TV or anything. So I just sit there and look at the phone and, and I reply to a few 
A lot of you are very consistent in, in commenting to me. I love you folks very much. That doesn't mean that I don't read the comments that are new. That doesn't mean I don't read the negative ones. That doesn't mean I don't read some of them. I read them all. And it's getting to be, you know, addictive and, and, and quite a while it takes to get through them because there are a few. So keep commenting, keep reaching out to me, keep criticizing me, keep doing whatever you want. <laughs> keep on being you and I'll keep on being me. But one thing we definitely got to do every day is crush it.